you may not know there is a, such a thing as a lobe lift. Yes, saggy earlobes give away a women's age, apparently, but uh, they can be repaired with some money and some time and a good doctor like Sherry Ingraham, who we brought in, a dermatologist uh, with advanced dermatology. So, okay, so the minute I say saggy earlobes, I think, oh no, are my earrings too heavy? Is that what causes the problem? Absolutely. The earlobes age like the rest of our body and our face ages. So you lose fat and you lose subcutaneous tissue as you age. So the earlobes kind of get a little bit flabby. They may crease, but also if you wear heavy earrings, you talk on a cell phone a lot, that will actually contribute more to that collagen being broken down stretching in that lab sagging a little bit more okay but there is a cure for this right I mean yes we can fix it you may have to have it treated again over time as you age but we can actually turn back the clock on the earlobes Ooh, okay so you brought in all your tools here I, I see brought a needle in my tool so this today's tool is Restylane which is a hyaluronic acid mm -hmm. filler and what we do is in patients like Jody you can see by looking at her lobes she's got a nice shape to her earlobes but they're a little bit what I call flabby mm -hmm. they have creases creases in them. Sometimes they will even have wrinkles and it makes her earring not sit evenly. A lot of women will complain that their earling, their earrings are asymmetrical. And so what we do is we just very easily put a few strands of this filler into the base of the lobe. And what it'll do is give a smooth contour to the lobe. And the nice thing about this is it's immediate gratification. There's really no downtime to this procedure. You can do it, go right back to work, go to lunch with your friends. You may have a small amount of swelling in the area, but you can put the earrings right back in as I'm going to do and see how much more evenly and nicely they sit. Now that was the third time that uh, she injected this, this medication. So did it hurt at all? You didn't even flinch? Not at all. Not at all. What does it do? You feel anything like a burning sensation or maybe like a numbing sensation? A little bit of a sting, but other than that, nothing. I don't even feel the stick. And doctor, how long does this usually take? Uh, the procedure itself takes probably about five minutes. Five minutes. Um, the patient can, like I said, put her earrings back in as soon mm -hmm. as we're done. Go ahead and hold that for me there, Jody. Um, what would something like this cost? Typically, if you're doing a half a syringe to a full syringe, you're looking at anywhere from about $300 to $700. And it's going to last about a year in most individuals. Wow, okay. And what's been the response so far from, from ladies who have come in as a result of, you know, maybe wearing too heavy earrings or just getting older? I think they've been thrilled because I think women don't realize that there is an option to treat this. I think they try and mask it with really large earrings that have a larger base or their hairstyle. And when I tell them we can actually fix this, they're thrilled because their earrings have been uneven. And it, it is a source of somewhat of discomfort and they want it to look nice. So I think they do really well. And again, it's instant gratification. All right, Jody, thanks so much. And doctor for coming in. Jody, you just want to look you. that way for me just so we can get a good look at the ear. Yeah, there we go. She made a good look. Doesn't hurt at all, and there's not even any more bleeding. <laughs> right, we're going to put her earring right back in so you can see it. You can actually put your earrings back in. She may have a little bit of swelling in the area, but it looks nice and even and smooth afterwards, and she can go back to work or out with her friends and go on with her day. All right. Well, thank, thank you, you all for coming in. We really <laughs> appreciate it coming.